Although Betty Davis openly sought the role of Helen Lawson, Robeson had someone else in mind for the part, 44-year-old Judy Garland. Like the fictional Helen, Judy was show business royalty. By 1967, Garland was hungry to make a comeback, and Robeson decided to take the risk. Judy got the part, and on March 2nd, she faced the press with Jacqueline Suzanne at her side. I don't think any actress could get a better, a better role. I think it's, um, it's a good, there's a good chance to sing one song, and yet I don't have to depend upon singing. I like to act too, so I think it's going to be good. I hope I'm good in it. The book deals with with pills to some extent. Have you found that prevalent around show business people? Well, I find it prevalent around newspaper people too. <laughs> On April 14, 1967, Judy Garland reported to work to make this rarely seen wardrobe test. Without a cigarette and a blindfold. With only me and my Stay.